Good luck, have fun. <laughs> and here we go, Celtics and 76ers, and the Sixers will win the tip. That it's going to be tough. You're going to get built, uh, beat on a lot of the speed, but this is where the help defense has to be huge for you to try to make an impact. You can see everyone pinching down in the lane when Fab starts to size up. And Radiant steps into the passing lane. Fab's trying to get back, and Radiant will finish. A lot of those deflections you see right now would be interceptions on those pure lock builds. Just to either take it down low and just dribble drive it. It's green from ZDS in the Sixers. It's just been a sloppy game overall. Yeah. A lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots. ZDS, he's not missing. Start to just get Radiant going with how good ZDS has played here right off the rip. I mean, things will probably still be toe-to-toe -to -toe because you got Fab and Profusion who are meshing so well. Profusion giving you a great game. But if both these guys can really just start to, to get into that tune together, uh, things will be scary going forward for Celtics. You end up greening the shot. But Mel getting a good look once again from the corner was able to capitalize. But when you have somebody like no autographs down in towards the paint, he does no autographs things. He gets through. Radiant. Boy, it looked like he could have got to the rack. He'll lob it up for Steez. Steez now with eight. Going to be a double team coming in from the Puser, uh, corner from Profusion. But then with Steez, finds a little alley down low, and then Radiant just lobs it up to him. Good finish right there. Get those chairs. Got a little banner chain on the pillow. Real nice. Could have had no autographs on the cut. And they get over to Perfusion. He'll let it fly, and he knocks it down. Nice job defensively on those sharp rims. Lob it up, ZDS, with a rare alley-oop. Fab a lot this game as well, so even if you do get these switches, I mean, Breadwinner's been staying disciplined. He knows that you can't just continuously reach at the point guard. And anytime you see somebody who's going up against a glass rebounding out of the corner, glass cleaner wins nine times out of ten. That's a good way for Mel just to try to slip it, though, avoiding box outs. And we got a one-point game. For Bully, too, he's on that pure sharp. That's how he's able to knock that down so effectively from the corner. Give him a little bit of space. And Radiant greens a three. The, the effect of it with Radiant and how effective he's been yeah. able to score. I mean, you only knew his amount of time. Melly's could only contain the beast for a certain amount. <laughs> I mean, but at some point, he's, he could have... Made them both and then stole the inbounds and hit a three. An instant classic. Once again, the 76ers beat the Celtics. Warriors and Mavs, there is a lot of blue out there in this one. And Pete will win the tip. But the big part is going to be stopping Mo when he is constantly moving off ball. That'll be a key to stopping this team. Sherm with the mock turtleneck is in the mid range. Doesn't like to shoot and misses his first one. Gradient will finish. And we're tied up at two. It's been one of these low scoring games where they just haven't been able to get a whole lot of opportunities up. Everything really just maneuvering in towards the paint. Haven't really seen anybody been able to get up a successful three point shot. I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like we got to get you the internet. There's this thing called the internet. It's fantastic. Got to give a lot of credit to Sherman Rux. They are a fantastic defensive duo. No, no, no. Just, just go up with a shot. I can try to get the rebound. So for him doing that, that earns him his badge. But also, they're trying to create second chance opportunities. But Mavs Gaming has been staying disciplined. I'm with yeah, Charles. I was right I, the first time. I might have to go with Charles. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Final opportunity, maybe Mo. 32-25. It's a point guard league as Dimes slams it home. He's got eight points, seven assists. Up ahead to Jen. Charles Bostwick the third. We'll get it off to Jen and he'll cash in. He's got five. Spider-Man tattoo on their back. I got, I got seen it all. Got better places to be. CB says it's green. Let's see what the 
response they have, but Gradient knocks it away. Can he finish? He will. I would here, just because you've had just such a comfortable lead now, you're coasting with it, you're getting some scores, hold it for the last shot and just try to make sure you can get something. Jen from the corner, no, Gradient with the board. Just for that possession only, uh, right at the start of the fourth, Moe's back onto CB13. Into the lane and Type with the rejection. Boy, is he having a stat line. Smooth in the corner. This is where he starts with this, oh no. That's not what you want. Mo for three. The one where his back's turned, just gonna throw it up to take it down and then make a play out of it. High acumen on the side of the Warriors. They'll go for a quick two here. Final seconds in this one. They go quick to Pete. So we got a two point game. Well, they won nine in a row, but cannot advance to the semis. They led for a majority of the game. T-Wolves, Jazz, not the Bucks. T-Wolves, Jazz, here we go. And that was the most exciting tip we've ever had. And that won't go, rebound by Feast. Very stingy on the first couple possessions, but you forgot about Nacho. Rhea's just standing down here. It's like, can I finally get the ball, please? His Rhea came wide open on the roll. Bear. He knows how to find him. He's got to yell squirrel. Nevertheless, sure. And one coming in from Moam. I just like the, the scenery out here. That, that's, the, that's really the only thing I like. I'm not going to knock you for it. I Here's go, turn up. I go from cornfields to mountains. It's a big difference. Is a, is, is a dairy queen, is the, is the DQ. And then maybe either less timeouts or shorter timeouts. That's my wish list. Off to Feast. And that's what he's doing right now. He's got 10 points, 9 rebounds. We're in the first half. A guy named Gliz getting himself back up. It's a scoring that we typically see. And he's doing it on the rim protector. That's a spark that they needed. You saw when they got in the wide open three in the corner. In the state of 10,000 lakes as well. JoJo with a jam. I was out there for the Super Bowl. Into a couple games and I was playing in it where it wasn't used. And if you didn't use it, you were getting horse and you more than likely <laughs> were losing games. That gives you that first initial push going in towards the paint to where you can pass fake and then try to make a play. There's a turn up. Sweep it over to Nacho to an eight-point game. Holding Glitch to just four points in that quarter as well. I think that was a, a big part of the success, being able to slow down really the trigger man of the team. Gets the bear over to turn up at the elbow. And compete. There he goes. He brings him back within one. Feast does feast things. The Yugoslavian Reaper for a reason. And the Jazz have the lead with under two minutes to go. Unbelievable. How this game is gone. What a move. All of a sudden, we're under a minute to go. Both teams with two timeouts. Rhea two-hand jam. Back within one. How much time here? That is a high pick and roll. JoJo, shot clock running down, and Deeds took it away. Gliz out on the break for the lead. Adapted straight away, and they're able to get the coverage. And forget about it. The Jazz have come in and stolen this game. Games all last year. And Colt, the only retained player on this team, had to draft five new players. And okay, EP. This could be the game he has a field day. Pondo trying to help out. And this might be the game that BP ends up finding BP. Seam will lob it up to Zaki. Each all the way up to the players' locker rooms. <laughs> he was dogging the whole way. Over to A. Rooks. And this time he doesn't go behind the back. He just 
drops it in. This is not the team you want to face to have a bad game. They're so good defensively. And they lob it up. That was spectacular. Seam. Gets it to cold and one. Um, back to back. So he's just saying, hey, your attributes are going to be high, which is what a lot of people don't realize. It never shows it. And there's no way of really telling unless you go play team up. They had to go here in the half. A. Rooks has got a few more embers left in the badge, and he'll give it off to Plondo if you're Sacramento. And there's the lob. Right now, we're three and two right now. We feel like we should be way better than this, so we just want to make a push. I know Black Frank White had had uh, the heat going all the way. It didn't quite happen, guys. No, it didn't, Jeff. Zachy's in the corner. I mean, <laughs> Big Meek's like, who do I guard now? Well, you try to guard that. Bigger from the logo, basically. Seam. He's trying to keep his team in it. He's got ten play. Working against Seam, he'll get off to Plondo. Back out to A. Rooks. See ya. And he'll cash in. I think I'm uh, gonna find some chicken fingers somewhere. <laughs> BP, there you go. With A. Rooks, right, we know he loves behind the back move. And that's something that you can't really be doing that while protecting the ball. BP! BP has come alive here in Vegas. We had a one point game. But you always just start to, the players who maybe were slacking towards the beginning, they start to pick things up towards the ending part of the game. It's been so hard for you to even get any good looks up this game. There's been a couple bailout passes to the corner. That was probably the best look that he's had all game. BP. At 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. here in the desert, but the Bucks victorious. The board, especially Big Meek, he's been big in a few games. At 27 against the Raptors, they're gonna need that kind of performance. Some of the other characters, so in that way, he's able to get open. No screens needed for A. Rooks moving off ball. Breadwinner, there's the alley-oop. Behind the back that he goes to so often, but Breadwinner makes him pick up a dribble. Plondo, two-hand jam of the semifinals here from Las Vegas, Nevada. We've got a glass here at the turn, powered by at and There is that takeover badge. We don't see that one often, but he's still able to make the shot on the behind the back. Walk it back, give it down to Plondo, who's got four points already. Working on breadwinner. Says, get off of me! They're just gonna be able to bully you down low. I and mean, you can just get the little cold shoulder. You can try to go for the drop step and mash your way to some points. There's Radiant. He's got four now. But Nudini can't cash in. And a big time jam on the other end by A Rooks. He trying to get a screen from Plondo. And they'll go right to him. Steez on him now. Doesn't matter. Will be crowning a champ here tonight. Radiant to ZDS. He says it's green. That's deep. Bucks with a one point lead here. Radiant to the rack. Plondo, breadwinner over toward Big Meek now. And Steez goes right, excuse me, Plondo goes right by Steez here at the turn. But that was a big shot. Radiant gives it off to Steez, and we're tied at 42. ZDS. Off balance three, can't get it to go. A Rooks working on Radiant and one. They got to get going. Radiant getting into the paint, mid range. Steeds with a board, gets it out to CDS. Bang! Here by the Sixers, back to back buckets. Plondo is kind of cooled off. New Dini all alone, aggressive Dini. <laughs> but one team's going to be 90 grand richer. Radiant to the rack. Plondo scoring really dropped off. He's been up to the challenge. A Rooks down to Plondo and and one. I want to keep Steez on just for the size factor, where if he doesn't jump and just puts his hands up, he still will have wow. a better opportunity to get some stops. There's A Rooks. Does he got a big shot at him? Mid range. 
And you remember that the 76ers team has just been going a lot of pick and roll. Usually towards the fourth quarter, they pull something out of the tricks. Team. And Chatty will get this inbounds. And there's two minutes we'll never get back. 62-54, semifinal number two, Warriors Jazz. And here's the tip. And the Jazz will take it. Put up 18. He's a big reason they're here. And that rattles around and down. Seventh seed. Rhea on a post score. I like it, old school. Your body gets, it looks like it's stiff and you just kind of throw it up. But it's a very, very hard shot to time to perfection. Out on the break. Moab. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Deeds. Out on the break. The good part is we have type working out this pick and roll. I mean, the only center build that doesn't get gold brick wall is a sharp shooting rebounder. But it will take on the winner. And they lob it up for time. Has Gradient in the corner. they will get it back out to be smooth. Behind the back. Stops. Pops. Up by 14 now. Compete on the break. He's now got six. Back out to compete. And Gliz. <laughs> of course, there was a lot of six men last year that if they would have just... And the Warriors were just never able to figure out. And there was a lot that played into it. But the they big They figured part, out their archetype. Now with 10 points. Able to get an easy one. They go to type. Speaking of easy. It'll be easy to grab and slam on home, but also if he tries to get mashy in the paint, throws a pump fake, you're going to see him just shove the person off of him. I mean, I'm not saying they're the Pistons, but they're not a great three-point shooting team. Be smooth. Lob it up to type. Compete will pick it up. He's out on the break. Slam a jam up. Confidence now, which is scary. Be smooth, getting into the mid-range. Steps back. <laughs> All right. Group, because certainly the 76ers now know who they're going to play with it. an 18-point game. Actually spends his offseason in Salt Lake City. Does, does a lot of hiking up, at, <laughs> up in the mountains. A good run by the Jazz, but congratulations to the Warriors. First two tournaments. That's where we're going to find out. And can the Warriors get their first ever part of the banner chain? Warriors will take the tip and B-Smooth goes right to the rack. Press the Warriors gaming squad. They do such a good job of just being able to slow things down the half-court setting. They'll put you under pressure, but they'll always be baiting the passing lanes that signifying that they have taken home the tip-off banner. Can they take home the turn? Radiant from deep, he says it's green. To say they missed the playoffs would be an understatement. Smooth. Now a seven. And they'll lob it up to be smooth. I don't know who's drawing up these plays, but everybody. Two on one, and they do get an easy one, finally. It has been a... Whatever we do, do not foul. And Radiant will get to the rack. He's got nine. Be smooth. Trying to get to the elbow. There's CB13. Wow. The rookie with 12 points tumbles over the baseline. Be smooth. Back the other way. He'll lob it up. And Gradient will throw it down. Terrell said, let's focus on getting a bucket, not timeouts. On the other side, the Warriors, obviously much more lighthearted, uh, especially Type and Jin. They were talking about 12 minutes. 12 minutes, that's all we need. 37-24. Radiant gets it to Steez, and there's a two-hand jam. Starting to get some screws. Here to the title. 
trying to win the mid-season tournament. We call it the turn, powered by AT&T. That's one of your biggest enemies right now, and be smooth. Uh, and then they've had a time where they lost to the Kings, they lost to B5. Obviously, those are two good teams, but oh my. If you need another reason, it's his birthday. Steez. I could come up with about 10 reasons before that. Fifth equation with Wizards District Gaming last year, their first round exit. And for how majority for him in terms of how much he was involved in the offense really went down after the patch. So for him to come out and be able to. And he suffered through a long season one with his Warriors team. There was a lot of late nights at the hotel. Turn champions. And they do it in fantastic fashion. Champions powered by AT&T, Warriors Gaming Squad!